Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today is my favorite holiday video of the entire year, and we're not even done with September yet, but here I have nearly the entire Chanel holiday collection for 2020. This just launched in Chanel Beauty Boutiques. I'm told it will be available online October 1st, but I will of course continue to update you guys. I do have a Chanel Instagram story highlight where I post new products, videos, any sort of helpful information. So as soon as all of these pieces launch, I will definitely post there. So feel free to follow along. Today we will of course unbox, we will swatch, I will finish my makeup for the day and then I will share my final thoughts. My favorite Chanel holiday collection tradition started last year. It's collaborating with the incredible Michelle Wong. Now I know all of you know exactly who I'm talking about, but just in case you don't know who Michelle is, she is the queen of luxury beauty reviews. If you are ever unsure about a new product, I can almost guarantee she has you covered. Her swatches are some of the best on YouTube. They are always so clean, crisp. I'm always in awe of her swatches and she is one of the few creators I will allow myself to watch every once in a while before I review the same product simply because she is so thorough and informative. I always learn so much from her videos and if you're not already following Michelle on Instagram, I highly recommend you do so. She is always posting new products, restocks. Her page is is just an incredible resource for anybody who loves luxury beauty. I think I first found Michelle when she was somewhere around 20,000 subscribers. It's hard to even imagine that now and I remember when she was celebrating hitting 35 and I just thought wow Michelle Wong just hit 35,000 subscribers. If she can do it then I need to keep going because that means that I can do it too. So I know she is such an inspiration for so many creators but especially here in the luxury space where it can feel very cold and lonely. You know, there aren't that many of us out here. She's just paving the way for everybody, showing us what is possible. So I'm incredibly grateful, not only for her incredible videos, but her mentorship, her friendship, her generosity. I'm very happy to be collaborating with her again this year for this video. So I will link Michelle's video and her channel down below in the description box. You can check it out right after this. And between the two of us, you will see the entire collection. We both picked up all of the powders and we split the lipsticks. So let's get started. Instead of doing my makeup first, I decided to wait. That way I could swatch everything for the very first time with you guys. So let's go ahead and unbox everything. I'm going to begin with Le Chain de Chanel Illuminating Blush Powder. This retails for $70. I think this is the star of the show for this collection. And as you can see on the exterior box, there's this really pretty chain detail embossed right on the packaging. That's because the holiday collection this year is called Les Chaines d'Or de Chanel, inspired by the iconic gold chain. People sometimes ask me why I love Chanel so much or why I'm willing to spend so much more for Chanel. And the answer truly is the attention to detail. I love how every collection has a story. It's all so inspired. It ties back to the history and the heritage of the brand, the fashion house. Since it's the holiday collection, on the front of the compact you have the gold CC logo. When you open it up, you have the white half moon brush and a little protector. These I usually throw away. And the powder itself is embossed with that chain design with little CCs right in the center. I don't really know what I expected. As soon as I found out about this piece in this collection, I was incredibly excited. All I know is that it is really pretty to look at and I cannot wait to put this on my cheeks. The swatch looks pretty dark. It's an illuminating blush, but it's definitely too dark to be a highlighter, but it's a little bit lighter than a traditional blush. So it's somewhere in the middle. It truly is a hybrid of both. Next, I have all four Ombre Premier Single Eyeshadows. These retail for $36 each. I've always been a huge fan of the Chanel Single Shadows. The holiday collection two years ago, Lion de Chanel also had singles. I pulled out the ones I have to compare the formula, so let's go ahead and unbox these. Starting with 927 Cure Rose. The single shadows also come with the Gold CC logo. Inside you have a plastic protector and they come with one little sponge applicator. The chain detail looks so intricate on these eyeshadows. I really don't want to mess it up, but of course I have to, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch. <gasps> this is the first time I'm touching them. Ready? 
Wow, that is really pretty. It looks so close to the blush. But either way, it's just beautiful. I'm too curious now. I don't want to wait, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this illuminating blush right next to it. I'm using my index finger for this one. The eyeshadow has more sparkle. The illuminating blush is a little bit softer. The color is pretty close. It's the finish that's a little bit different. So next I'm going to unbox 926 or Blanc. This shade looks like a cool white gold, maybe a platinum, really pretty. Wow, it looks really intense. It feels really creamy as well. I have not allowed myself to watch any reviews, but I did see some swatches on Instagram and there was some chatter about these eyeshadows and whether or not they would be pigmented. They looked really sheer, but this is really intense. So far, I'm really pleased. This is what I expected from these shadows. This is what they were like two years ago. So no reason to think it would be anything different. Ooh. That shade kind of blends into my arm, unfortunately. It's going to show up a lot more on the eye, but it's very pretty. Moving on to 925 or Antique. So this is going to be an Antique Gold. Ooh. It's not too yellow, it's not too brown either. Sometimes an Antique Gold tends to look almost copper, but not this, it's really pretty. I love it. Beautiful. All of these eyeshadows have shimmer, just so you know. They're very luminous. And finally, we have 928 Cure Brun. This is a deep chocolatey brown. It looks very gorgeous. Ooh, it feels really creamy. That is beautiful. Wow. So this one has a little luminosity. You can see it in the pan and you can sort of see it on the skin. But the other three, these are more metallic. This isn't really a metallic shadow. It's kind of like a soft, luminous finish. But they're gorgeous. I think they swatched beautifully. And arm swatches only tell you one thing what they look like on your arm. It's not going to determine what they look like on the eye. You really have to play around with them. I never like to judge too quickly, but they feel really nice. There are four new limited edition holiday lipsticks. These retail for $45 each, so there's a little bit of a price hike because of the special packaging. It's the same as last year. I don't know if you saw them. They have the gold detailing around the edges. They're very beautiful. I'm not sure it's really worth an additional $7, but it's Chanel, it's special packaging, and they can basically charge whatever they want because they're beautiful. I picked up 117 and 127. Michelle has 107 and 137. Now, when I was in store, I swatched all of them on my arm very carefully. Everything was sanitized afterwards, don't worry. So I was able to see all four shades, and then I went ahead and I picked up 107, the beige. I, I need another nude lipstick, like I need a hole in the head but it was too beautiful to pass up. But the 117 and 127 are the shades that I'm going to show. That way, to see the other two shades, you have to watch Michelle's video. Here is shade 117, and here is shade 127. The last new piece of the collection is the nail polish. This retails for $28, it's shade 773 Shane Door. It looks very golden sparkly, very similar to one of their other shades, and I can't think of the name but it's kind of that soft, almost white gold. It looks very similar to that. This is a little bit more yellow gold. It has more gold sparkle to it. Other than that, they've had something very similar, so I skipped the nail polish, and then they are re-promoting the Volume Revolution de Chanel, the mascara, and the liner de Chanel. The first thing I'm gonna try is the illuminating blush. I don't wanna wait one more second. I already have powder and bronzer on, but no blush, so I wiped off my brush. Should 
probably start with a small amount, but I'm just too excited. Okay. It's pretty. That is a blush on me. I thought it looked lighter than a blush, deeper than an illuminator, but that's dark enough. It's more of a blush. It has lots of color. Because it has the sheen, I think you have to be careful. You know how sometimes a highlighter, when it's in direct light, it looks very light, but then you turn to this side and it gets the shadow, so it tends to look a little bit darker. That's what's happening here. So when I look to my right, the light is directly hitting my cheek. This looks great. Perfect amount of color. But then as soon as I turn to this side and that shimmer gets turned off, it looks very dark. It's very beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I think in the future I will be even more light-handed now that I know. This side is much better. There's too much on this side. Ooh. I have a powder brush on hand. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. I love that it has the sheen, it's very pretty, it's luminous, but it's not going to replace a highlighter. For me, that would be my blush step. I just quickly applied a little bit of bronzer in the crease. That's a step I would normally take and I wanna set these shadows up for success since this is the first time I've played around with them and I do like to have something matte in the crease. Personal preference. But now I'm going in with a flat shader brush and I've picked up the True Gold 925 or Antique. This is going all over the lid. Now I'm picking up a Refer 14 brush and the brown, 928. And this is so deep, it's going in the outer V outer crease. I'm going to try to build it up very slowly. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend out the crease. With a little precision brush, I'm picking up Or Blanc 926, and I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. I just wiped off that precision brush, and now I'm picking up 927, the rose eyeshadow. I just want to experiment with this, so I'm going to pop it beneath the lower lash line on the inside. pretty. I also think that would look gorgeous all over the lid. I hear from so many people who are sick and tired of pink eyeshadow looks, so I do not dare apply this to the lid. But if you like pink eyeshadow, I think it would look really nice. And then picking up a pencil brush, I'm going to finish the lower lash line with our brown shadow. Eyes are now complete. The last step is lips. And there's something very special about these lipsticks that I have not told you yet. When I swatched them in store, I immediately noticed they have sparkle to them. They're not super glittery like the holiday lipsticks we saw from a lot of brands last year. I don't think they're going to be gritty, but they do have little shimmer flecks in them. You could really tell with the beige, that nude lipstick, it has tons of gold shimmer to it, which is why I picked it up. I couldn't resist. So first I'm gonna try on 117. My lips feel really dry. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yes, you can see sparkle. Not glitter, but a little sparkle. It's very pretty, it's soft. Okay, now you can see it. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Can you see the little shimmer flecks in there? This is pretty deep, it's deeper than I expected. This is 117, perfect for the holidays. Next, I have 127 Rouge Door. Got smashed in the cap a little bit, that's okay. With this one, I can see the shimmer a little bit more. This is almost a cherry red. It's really pretty. It looks so bright. It's kind of a true, just a true red. My makeup is now complete. I feel ready for my first holiday party. So let's quickly recap now that I've had a chance to not only swatch, but apply the products to the face. The Illuminating Blush is beautiful. I would say go light-handed, build it up very softly, slowly, because you don't want it to end up looking muddy on the face. That sometimes happens with highlighters, and that's the case here, even though there is so much more pigment, it is more of a blush, I would say, than a highlighter. It's going to give your cheeks a really nice sheen. I love this, it's beautiful. These eyeshadows are gorgeous. I love the detailing, like I really, do love that embossed design on top, the gold chain. The pink you could probably skip if you picked up the illuminating blush. They are different. I'm not sure if they're different enough to justify the additional $36 purchase. That's going to be up to you. Or you might prefer it for the eye. You might like that it has a little sparkle and you might skip the blush. The lipsticks are beautiful. I love the little hint of shimmer. It's something different for Chanel. I love this packaging that they came out with again. It's so luxurious. They feel really great on the lips and I think they did a great job choosing shades. There is something here for everybody. Overall, I love the entire collection. 10 out of 10. There wasn't one thing I tried today that I didn't love. I wish they had brought out some new eyeliners, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think the Romance eyeliner from the fall collection would pair really beautifully with this new pink eyeshadow. So there are probably plenty of shades, maybe they didn't need to add anything, but a gold or a silver would have been really special. I'd also like to see some new lip liners. They came out with the new lip liners and they are really pretty, but what about some holiday lip liners or a lip liner to go with each new lipstick? <sighs> a girl can dream. But everything they did come out with was really beautiful. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. You guys know, I cannot wait to hear what you think about this collection. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you're excited. Are you planning to purchase anything? As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face. I will continue to update the description box as soon as this collection is available online. Don't forget to check out Michelle's video. So head over there next, send her some birthday love because she was celebrating this week. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.